STD has inflicted us with another trailer. I wonder what kind of brilliant plots that nobody cares about they'll come up with this year. Our first image is of Discovery. You know that ship that we're supposed to believe is in the same general time frame as the original Enterprise, 10 years before the original series, and yet somehow it seems to be more advanced than the Enterprise E, a century later. We then go to hipster Spock, not looking or acting anything like actual Spock. At least Zachary Quinto tried to give us a performance that was true to the actual character. Spock goes on about some universe-changing event. An event, I dare to say, he never mentions again, ever, in TOS. Who cares about canon and continuity when you have flashy special effects? Then we get a look at Michael Burnham, trying to be important. Part of me was hoping that this apparent change of pace that they are supposedly doing this year would mean that the series would be less Burnham-centric. Or even better, no Burnham at all. Well, no such luck if this trailer is to be believed. She actually appears on screen as impossible. Spock uses the words defining moment for our civilization. Throughout the trailer, she's always with her head cocked to the side with the same facial expression of extreme self-importance. Look at me. I'm the center of the universe. Okay there, Ray. I'm better than both Kirk's, Picard, Sisko, Janeway, and Archer put together. I guess this is yet another franchise that doesn't believe in subtlety. At least she gets kicked in the head in a later scene. It looks like we're focusing on a thing called the Red Angel. Here it looks like the Red Angel is circling Burnham. Just so we don't forget she's the center of everything. They just introduced this thing and I'm already bored of it. We get apocalypse visions. Really guys, this is something that has already been done to death and the Dead Zone did a much better job of it than you guys probably will. Why? Because it was a good show. Moreover, did you guys just rip off Infinity War? STD, we really need to talk. I'm pretty sure CBS only has so much extra money to deal with your lawsuits. I guess it's different because rather than 50%, it's everyone. I have an idea. Why not try to do something original? Wait, this is Star Trek. It hasn't done anything original in a while. Nor has it moved the story forward since 2002. Yes, we have that Picard series coming up, which I now have a lot of concerns about. I'll be doing a video on that shortly. Mirror Giorgio is back. Don't get me wrong, I like Michelle Yeoh, but her Mirror Universe interpretation is terrible. It just isn't believable in any way, shape, or form. Only STD could manage to take a great actress and make her deliver such a hammy performance. We're at Mark Wahlberg in the happening levels here. It takes a special kind of reverse talent to direct an accomplished actress that badly. Good work, STD. Look at these cute little Section 31 badges. Nothing like keeping your secret operations secret, like, I don't know, giving people badges that makes clear they are affiliated with your operation. Anson Mount isn't necessarily terrible in this trailer. It seems clear they are trying to brighten up one of the most depressing, yet at the same time uninteresting things that has ever graced our television screens. Unfortunately, if this trailer is to be taken as an example, Mount fails to bring the demure seriousness that Jeffrey Hunter brought to the role. Later in the trailer, Burnham tells imposter Spock that she, quote, risked everything to help you. More stuff that was never mentioned with regard to Spock's character until STD came along. Imposter Spock then replies with more ego building for Burnham, because, as we all know she's perfect, you assume every burden is yours alone. Of course she does. She's Michael Burnham, and she can handle any challenge on her own. That Captain Kirk, what a loser. He needed to be more like Michael Burnham. I'm sure she's going to have a discussion with young Kirk before the series is out. Then we get some action sequences, because that's all Star Trek is now, apparently. A dumbed-down Star Wars. We get some more images of Burnham looking smug and important, because that's really going to make people want to pay CBS extra money. Who knows what's waiting for us out there, says Pike. I could tell you what's waiting for you out there. Cancellation. Pike continues. Be bold. Be brave. Be courageous. Well... That's a good way to describe anyone who decides to continue watching this show at this point. Pike also states, We're in a fight for the future. Well, yes. If a fight for the future means destroying the canon of the four series and the ten non-Kelvin movies that come after you in the Star Trek timeline. And at the end, Spock smiles. What the hell, STD? Now, admittedly, Spock did smile in some of the early Star Trek episodes, but that was half a century ago, before his character was fully developed. If you want people to believe that this is Spock, then Spock smiling is not something you put in your trailer. People do not identify Spock with smiling. In short, this trailer does nothing to make me think that this show is going to get any better. It's still centered on the most detestable lead character in Star Trek history, and I don't think anybody is going to take to imposter Spock. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun ripping the show apart this season. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching, and have a great day.